सागर से चले चले श्रवण गति दांत से श्रीयू दाने दो बाल दिया भगंत को दो श्रवण गति जय नामा साग से रहेगा साफ जी जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्रवण गति तो भरा रहा सुहा साधु दो भक्ति में जय सुखी राधा कृष्ण गोगोपना शाम सुंदरा दासन गति हो जाती है वृंदावन धाम की जय समुद्र धाम की जय सौवीर भक्ति में जी जय ओम गौरी श्री अश्विन ओम गौरी श्री अश्विन ओम गौरी श्री
Yah, Yah, He who, He who, Svanubhavam, Svanubhavam, self assimilated experience, self assimilated experience, Akila, Akila, all around, all around, Shruti, Shruti, Vedas, Vedas, Saram, Saram, Cream. Green. Ekam. Ekam. The only one. The only one. Adhyatma. Adhyatma. Transcendental. Transcendental. Deepam. Deepam. Torchlight. Torchlight. Atiti Tirshatam. Atiti Tirshatam. Desiring to overcome. Desiring to overcome. Ntama. Ntama. Antam. Antam. Deeply dark material existence. Sangsarinam Sangsarinam of the materialistic men. Of the materialistic men. Kurunaya. Kurunaya. Out of causeless mercy. Out of causeless mercy. Aha. Aha. Said. Said. Purana. Purana. Supplementary to the Vedas. Supplementary to the Vedas. Guhyam. Guhyam. Very confidential. Very confidential. Tam. Tam. Unto him. Unto him. Vyasa. Vyasa. Sunam. Sunam. The son of Vyasadeva. The son of Vyasadeva. Upoyami. Upoyami. Let me offer my obeisances. Let me offer my obeisances. Gurum. Gurum. Spiritual master. Spiritual master. Munina. Munina. Of the great sages. Of the great sages. Translation. Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto him. Shuka, the spiritual master of all sages, the son of Yasudeva, who, out of his great compassion for those gross materialists who struggle to cross over the darkest regions of material existence, spoke this Purana, supplement to the Vedas, the cream of Vedic knowledge, after having personally assimilated it by experience. Hmm. So, these are the qualification of spiritual master. What is that? Sanubhavam must assimilate personally. Sanubhavam Akila Suti Sar. Suti. The Vedas are called Suti. Absolute knowledge. It has to be learned by hearing, not by speculation. Suti. Sat vigyanatham sa gurumeva avigache sotriyam. From Suti, the sotriya comes. So, he is offering respect to Sukhdev Goswami because he has assimilated the whole Vedic knowledge, Sutisara. What is a sara? Sara means essence. What is the ultimate goal of knowledge? Essence of knowledge. This is also explained in Bhagavad Gita. Vedaishta sadvai ahameva vedam. The real purpose of Vedic knowledge is to uh, search out where is Krishna. <clears throat> so Sukhdev Goswami assimilated the Vedic knowledge and he was after Krishna. Although he was liberated soul, Still, he was after Krishna. Uh, to become liberated is not the final stage. To liberate means one who understands that he is not this material body. He is liberated. But that much knowledge is not sufficient. One must act according to It's like one is cured of the feverish condition. One was suffering from fever. Now there is no fever. That's nice. 
But that is called convalescent stage. In the convalescent stage, if you do not take care nicely, again the fever may be relaxed. That is marginal stage. Healthy stage and uh, disease condition stage, and between them there is marginal stage. So we cannot stay on the marginal stage. Uh, we must come this side or that side. So even if we are liberated, if we are not engaged in the activities of liberation, then we are to be considered on the marginal stage, and marginal stage means we may again fall down in this material condition. Uh, <clears throat> Arijya kichena parang padang tata patanti adha ana dhrita jusma dhangraya. Arijya kichena. Kichena means with great difficulty. The <clears throat> philosophers, they try to understand the absolute truth by mental speculation. But simply by mental speculation you cannot stay in that understanding. Or in other words, by theoretical knowledge you cannot escape. It must be practice. Uh, practice. So in our Krishna consciousness movement, we are putting the candidates into practice. Without practice, simply knowledge is no good. <coughs> that is simply foolishly to become puffed up that I am now liberated. I have got this knowledge, I am now living. No. That is not liberation. Uh, that is explained in Srimad Bhagavatam elsewhere. Janera Vindakha Vimukta Manino. Vimukta Manino. They are thinking that they have become liberated. That that's the Mahavadi Sannyasi. They are dressed among themselves as Narayan. Namo Narayan. That means everyone has become Narayan. Uh, the modern uh, increase of incarnation of God means this Mayavad philosophy. Because in the Mayavad philosophy everyone thinks that he is God, Narayan. Uh, I have become Narayan. Uh, Brahma Bhuta. Now I have become Narayan. No. You cannot become Narayan. You can become Narayan's Das, servant. That is your healthy state. So, if after liberation, liberation means sufficient knowledge to understand that one is not this body, that is called liberation. So after liberation there is activity. Uh, that they do not know. They think after liberation there is no other activity. Uh, some of them say that when the water pot is full, uh, there is no more sound. It is solid. Uh, but our philosophy is that uh, when one is liberated, his actual life begins. What is that actual life? The actual life is to be engaged in the transcendental loving service of the law. That is actual life. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma na Sochati Natankati samasarveshu bhuteshu madhakti lavati param. After being Brahma Bhuta, 
not simply by knowing Aham Brahmasmi. No. One must realize, assimilate, how he is Brahma. Brahma means the same thing as the absolute truth. So we are living entities, being parcel and part and parcel of the Supreme Brahma, Krishna. Certainly we are Brahma. There is no doubt about it. But if one stops activities of Brahma realization, then he falls down. So the Brahma activity are this devotional service. Uh, people may see that these uh, Krishna conscious people, they are also working, they are also eating, uh, they are also sleeping, they are earning money, we are earning money in this way, they are earning in another way. So they may see the similarity of action, karma and bhakti, to the fools appear to be the same. No, it is not the same. Here is realization that everything belongs to Krishna. Whereas in the karma platform the realization is that everything belongs to me. It is my house, my money, my children, my country, my society, my property, uh, my and I. I am the monarch of all I survey, and I am the proprietor of everything. So this misconception is not there in the bhakti. In the bhakti school, uh, everything belongs to Krishna. We don't uh, take anything as our own. That is called Vaishnava philosophy. Assimilate. Anubhav. So it is stated here, Jo Sanubhavam. Sanubhav. Sanubhav means personally convinced. Anubhav. God can be realized at the present stage by anubhav. We cannot see God now. But anubhav, uh, uh, appreciating or understanding the nature of God and seeing God, there is no difference. Absolutely. So our business is at the present moment to feel the presence of the law. Uh, in every action, uh, to present the presence of the law. That is uh, uh, one thing. So in some day, if you continue in the Krishna consciousness, presence of the law in everything, then it will be possible some day to see Krishna eye to eye, just like we are seeing. We are seeing Krishna. Here is Krishna. But still, because we are conditioned so, sometimes we think that this is not actual Krishna, this is a statue of Krishna. But that is not the fact. Uh, fact is, uh, Krishna is one. Krishna is absolute, although again, He is identified to everything. What is everything? Everything means uh, manifestation of his energy. Uh, so energy is not different from the energetic. Shakti, Shakti Matu, Abhida. There is no difference. Just like the sun and the sun sign or heat of the sun, heat of the sun, uh, sun and the sun sign they appear to be different from the sun, but actually it is not, because they are simultaneous. 
Whenever there is sun, there is heat and light. Or wherever there is heat and light, there is sun. In the morning, when you see that the, it is now uh, clear, there is no more darkness, immediately you understand that there is sunrise. So this sanubhava, when there is no darkness within your heart, sanubhava, what is Krishna, when you understand fully within your heart, at that time <coughs> your uh, actual liberation is attained. So what Sukhdev Goswami did, that after assimilating the whole Vedic literature, he distributed it. And that is another instinct. If you really have learned the essence of Vedic knowledge, automatically you will be inclined to preach it. Savanam Gaitana. Savanam means to hear, to receive the knowledge. And next, Kirtana means to distribute, to describe the knowledge. Dasyana bhāvam akira śrīsāra mītam adhyātma dīpam. Dīpam means lamp. So this śrīmad-bhāgavatam is just like the lamp in the darkness to see Krishna or God. Adhyātma dīpam. And for whom it is meant? Śrīmad-bhāgavatam is not meant for the street boys or who are accustomed to read so many nonsense literature. They want to waste their time. They have no engagement. They purchase some book, fictitious book, and read it. Not only they, even elderly men, they read it. But this book is different from both books. It is meant for person uh, uh, those who are desiring to get out of this world of ignorance, tamandham, griha andha kūpam, andha. Andha means blind or darkness. So our materialistic way of life is uh, described as griha on the kūpam. This family life is like, just like dark well. We are already in the darkness. And another darkness is uh, to fall in the dark well. If one falls down in the dark well, it is very difficult to get out because he may cry very loudly and people may not hear this dark well uh, are sometimes uh, there in the paddy field. Uh, I have seen one dark well in your country when I was guest in John Leland's house in 1969. Uh, I saw in the garden there was a dark well. Dark well means a, a very deep ditch. Well, but it is covered with grass. Uh, you cannot know that there is a deep well. But while walking, you may uh, fall down, isn't it? And it is already covered with grass. And it is very deep. If you fall down and you try, to get out of it, because it is an only place, nobody is there, nobody may hear you, eh? and you may simply uh, die without any help. Mm. So this materialistic way of life 
without any knowledge of the outside world, or without any knowledge. Outside world means just like we are within this uh, universe, it is uh, covered, the round thing which we see in the sky. That is the covering, just like a coconut shell. Uh, the coconut shell within and without. Uh, within the coconut shell it is darkness, and without it is light. Similarly, this universe is just like the coconut uh, we are within. As in the, within coconut there is water, half water. Similarly, within this universe there is half water. On that water, Lord Vishnu, uh, Garbhodakshai Vishnu is lying, and from his navel a lotus stream is sprouted. Uh, just imagine within the coconut there is water, and somebody is lying, and there is some stream out of the navel. Exactly this universe is like that. But outside the universe, there is light. Uh, here, within the universe, because it is covered, uh, light is required, sunlight is required, moonlight is required, electricity is required. Uh, but in the spiritual world there is no necessity of light. There is self-repulsion. Uh, Saṅśārinā ati titir satāṁ tamondham. Those who are actually serious about going out of this darkness and come to the light, tamasīmā jyotirgamā, don't remain in this darkness, come to the light. So anyone who is very serious, Titir satam tamondham. Saṅśārināṁ adhyātma dīpam atititir satam tamondham. Those are actually serious to go out of this darkness, to light. For them, this is the lamp. Just like in darkness, if you are held with a lamp, please come this way, come this way. So you can come out of the darkness. Similarly, Otititi uh, Satam, one who wants to uh, get liberation from this darkness, uh, for them this Simad Bhagavat is given by Sadhya Krishna. Saṅśārinām uh, Kurunaya. This is the business of the saintly person. They are very much compassionate to these materialistic men, saṅśārīna. Saṅśārīna means they are perpetually rotating, wandering within this darkness in different forms of life. Chaitanya Mahāprabhu says, ei rupe brahmāṇa bhramite kono bhagavāna jīva guru krishna kvipāya pāya bhakti rata dīva. We are wandering. The modern education system has no knowledge. Uh, they simply know that this life is everything. Uh, waste this life by sense gratification, because after death everything is void. Now I have got this body. Body means the senses. And I enjoy my senses. This is the materialistic way of life. They have no knowledge that there is life after death. We should prepare ourselves what kind of body we shall have next life. Instead of uh, they are uh, being washed off, uh, uh, not washed off, or carried away uh, by the waves of material nature. Bhaktivinoda Thakur therefore sings, Kano mayar vase jacho bhese khacho habu dubu bhal. Jeev Krishna das evishas kolletar dukhana. 
everyone is suffering, uh, maya and vasu, under the influence of maya, the illusory energy, they are being carried away by the waves. Waves means the three modes of material nature hmm? and suffering, sometimes being drowned, sometimes up, sometimes relieved, sometimes distressed. This is going on. So the only way to get out of this anxiety or to stop the perpetual uh, being carried away is to take shelter of Krishna. Krishna also says, sarva dharmaan parittajyamaam ekaṁ saranaṁ You are suffering, you simply surrender unto Me. So what Krishna says, the Bhagavad also says the same thing. Bhagavad begins, param sattam dhīmaṁ The Supreme, I offer my respect to the Supreme. Om namo bhagavati vāsudhi vāya. Uh, I offer my respectful obeisance to Lord Vāsudeva. Vāsudeva means Krishna. Hmm. So saṅśāryanāṁ kurunaya āha purāna guyam. Purāna. Purāna means sometimes the Mahābādis, they say these Puranas are stories. Uh, no, that are not stories. It, is, it comes from the Puran. Puran means feeling, uh, supplemented, uh, to complete it. Uh, Puranas, uh, they are not out of the Vedic literature. Uh, Ramayana, Mahabharata, Puran, uh, they are all, Mahab- yes, they are all belonging to the Vedic literature. Uh, especially Srimad Bhagavatam is called Mahapurana. Uh, therefore, Mahapurana, why in Mahapurana? Purana Guyam, very confidential Purana. There are Sattvic Purana, Rajasic Purana, Tamasic Purana, three kinds of Purana. Uh, so the aim is uh, to take the leader on the liberation platform, but according to the quality. In the Tamasic Puran, there are hmm, recommendations for Goddess Kali and other. And Rajasic Puran, there is recommendation for Jagga or worshipping the demigods in heavenly planet, Indra, Chandra. But in Sattvic Puran, only uh, about Vishnu, Lord Vishnu, is recommended to be worshipped. So this is called purana guyam because in this Puran you won't find any recommendation for worshipping any other demigod. Simply sattam param dhimai, only the absolute, sattam param, the ultimate, absolute truth, Krishna, om namo Samsharinam Kurunaya Hapurana Guyam. He first of all spoke Simad Bhagavatam uh, to being compassionate to the people suffering from this material pain. Tang Vyasa Sunam Upujami Guru Munina. Guru Munina. He is not only my Guru. But he is Guru, spiritual master of great sages and saintly persons. Even Vyasadeva also considered his son as greater than himself. When Sukadeva Goswami appeared in the assembly where many saintly persons were present at the time of Maharaj Parikhi, so at that time all the Munis stood up to receive him. All the Munis. Even there was Bhaste, he also stood up. Uh, therefore he is Guru Munino. He is spiritual master of all saintly persons. 
In this prayer, Srila Sutta Goswami practically summarizes the complete introduction of Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the natural supplementary commentary on the Vedanta Sutras. The Vedanta Sutras, or the Brahma Sutras, were compiled by Vyasadeva with a view to presenting just the cream of Vedic knowledge. Yes. First of all, uh, there was only one Veda, Atharva Veda. Then he divided uh, according to the subject matter into four Vedas, Sam, Joju, Athanbari. Then he explained the Vedas by the Puranas. Uh, and he compiled Mahabharata also for the same purpose, how one can understand the Vedic literature. Sri Sudra Dijabandhuna Traina Suti Gochara. Those who are less intelligent, Oman, Sudra, and Dijabandhu. Dijabandhu means those who are born in Brahmin family but are not uh, just uh, to the quality. They are called Dijabandhu. For them, this Mahavan. And at the end, he compiled, he summarized the whole thing uh, by writing Vedanta Sutta. Still he was not happy, and under the direction of his spiritual master Narada, he wrote himself the commentary of the Vedanta Sutra, and that is Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the natural commentary on this screen. Srila Shukadeva Goswami was a thoroughly realized master of the Vedanta Sutra, and consequently he also personally realized the commentary, Srimad Bhagavatam. And thus to show, and just to show his boundless mercy upon bewildered materialistic men who want to cross completely over nations, he recited for the first time this confidential knowledge. There is no point in arguing that a materialistic man can be happy. No materialistic creature, be he the great Brahma, or an insignificant ant can be happy. Everyone tries to make a permanent plan for happiness, but everyone is baffled by the laws of material nature. Therefore the materialistic world is called the darkest region of God's creation. Yet the unhappy materialists can get out of it simply by desiring to get out. Unfortunately they are so foolish that they do not want to escape. They do not know that there is escape. They think this is all. This is their education. Uh, they have no knowledge. Uh, they, although they are suffering in every state, they are making plan in their own way within this material world, just like the UNESCO and so many other uh, all nation uh, attempts are there. Uh, they are um, planning within this. Uh, that is described in the Simanda Bhagavatam at Charvita Charvananam. Charvita means chewing the tooth. Uh, they see that our previous leaders, they also did like this. It was not successful. Still they are going on uh, in different way. And that is not the way. Actually, if you are really anxious to become free from the condition of life, then you have to take to adhyātma, śāstra. Uh, you have to take knowledge from spiritual sources. One. Therefore they are compared to the camel who relishes thorny twigs because he likes the taste of the twigs mixed with blood. He does not realize that it is his own blood and that his tongue is being cut by the thorns. Similarly to the materialist, his own blood is as sweet as honey, and although he is always harassed by his own material creations, he does not wish to escape. Such materialists are called karmis. Out of hundreds of thousands of karmis, only a few may feel tired of material engagement and desire to get out of the labyrinth. Such, such intelligent persons... Bonam, Bonam, Janmanamante, 
Gyanavan Man Prabhupada. After many, many births they come to realize that this is not the way of solution. I must take shelter of the Supreme Personality. That's all I've turned to.